All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Dial R's Sweet Lick Tactics from my work, my day job, directly into my office chair when I walk in the door because the patch waits for no man. As such, we got to get through the patch notes quick, 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 because it's going to be out here before we know it. And then this video is irrelevant. Okay, we're going to go straight to it. Uh, I think, uh, yeah, we're going to leave it there. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the patch comes out in roughly seven hours. Um, I think it's going to be a good one. Uh, this is a full cycle patch, meaning we're getting a new hero, new content, right? This is the transition between two-week events and two-week banners. So let's get into it. So first of all, the uh, Donkey Punch preamble here. Uh, there's one glaring difference is now they've doubled the crystal reward for downtime or for maintenance downtime to 1,000 crystals, which in the grand scheme of things is nothing, really. It's went from 500 to 1,000, but, you know, it's something. It shows that they can increase rewards. They are capable of it, so now there's no uh, getting around that. Now they can do that elsewhere. Uh, version update details for what is what is tomorrow November 23rd 2023 so uh, I covered this in a previous video uh, new hero uh, Rita Vertaski uh, Titan hand the battle witch is coming to the game uh, this little preamble she is a triple S level terror and vanguard hero yes we knew who can quickly restore her rage not her fury uh, grab an enemy unit around her and smash it in the center of the area when charging, disrupting the enemy's formation. With the help of her talents and her exclusive weapon, she can gain a shield at the beginning of battle and reduce the damage taken. Every time she receives damage, part of her HP will be restored. When she receives fatal damage, she will be immune to death once and will be invincible for two seconds. Her kit is also available in a separate post on the official Facebook page. I'm not going to read that because while the kit does tell you the the basics of each of all of her mechanics, you're not going to get any of the modifiers in there or any of the like she needs accuracy. Okay, how much? What is what is the baseline? And the baseline will then be dictated by 200, right? So I'm not going to get into it. I don't like to cover kit reveals because I like to do my deep dive, which I will have one out for uh, Vertaski <laughs> tomorrow evening. So stay tuned for that. Uh, whoever wrote this, there's, it was a little bit more descriptive than usual. So uh, kudos to whoever they got to uh, write up, do some of the write-ups, uh, right? Like this whole, with the help of her talents, an exclusive weapon. That's that's a little bit more flair than we're used to. Okay, so that's the new hero, you know, which means Samael, who is currently available, is going bye-bye in seven-ish hours. Exactly nine hours, actually, at the time of this recording. Okay. So new events and optimizations. So if you remember one of my previous videos that I had yesterday, I did have a source, an un unnamed source, that did say that we were getting a Thanksgiving sign-in, Black Friday deals, and he also said no endless event. Well, two of the three were correct, uh, as proven by these patch notes. Thanksgiving will fall on Thursday this week, which is tomorrow. And we have prepared a Thanksgiving, che Thanksgiving check-in event for you. During the event, you can log in to get a Thanksgiving turkey every day. So I'm assuming it's going to be a one-week event. Uh, you can log in to get a Thanksgiving turkey. You can use the turkeys to get one item from a variety of rewards, such as Mythic Runes, Astral Recruitment Cards, uh, Candle on Chests. I'm thinking... Okay, Candle on Chests. Let's just go, I, what I think this is, a candle on chest. Is this the same reward that you got from this? No, this is a digital test. Digital chest. Okay, well then I don't know what a candle on chest is. Let me know in the comments if you guys know what that is. I don't know what a candle on chest is. Uh, Katosian Triangle Stamina Potions. Uh, but really, it's this one that's uh, jumping out to me. Astral Recruitment Cards. Given how rare... And how much or how many astral recruitment cards we need to get uh, copies of the SP hero, or I should say shards of the SP heroes. Um, I'm gonna go astral recruitment cards all day. Uh, Mythic runes are a little bit uh, in less of a demand, given that you get 40 of them with the every week with the yearly pass, 
and Katosian sta triangle stamina, well, those are RNG, right? Like, you might not get any ge the gear pieces that you want. You might not get any of the tempering materials that you want. So I'm going to go for the uh, guaranteed amount of whatever astral recruitment cards I can get from these turkeys. Uh, so that's a seven day check in, right? But it says you get to, you get one turkey a day, but it says you can use them to get one of a variety of these rewards. So we'll see what that means tomorrow uh, when it goes live in game. Second thing I got correct from my source, the Black Friday sale will ki kick off at 5 a.m. on November 24th. So that's Friday, which makes sense. Black Friday. With value packs sold in three phases, you can enter the store to buy super cost-effective packs of limited quantity on that day. Now, I actually, uh, and I'm, I'm gonna, you'll see who who supplied me with this, but I actually have screenshots of what the packs looked like last year. Uh, so I am gonna pull it up. I didn't have this prepped. You know, I should have. I should have prepped ahead. So you're gonna have to bear with me as I open up my Discord. Uh, so let's pull this over here so you guys can see. Uh, I do recommend that everyone joins my Discord. It is linked in the description. So general chat. They are. Let's scroll up, scroll up, scroll up, scroll up. Yep, 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 yep. Fairly active Discord. I'm kind of proud of it. All the people in there are awesome. Here we go. Okay, so here is the first phase. Can I blow this up anymore? No, I think that's it. So you see how it's three phases. Black Friday sale. You know, you have to buy, I don't know, something on here to unlock this one and then unlock this one. But I don't think these packs, if these are the same packs we get, I wouldn't really call these uh, sales. Like 10 limited for 10 bucks. No, that's pretty much your standard pricing. 20 limited for 20 bucks. Oh, okay. Oh, 40 for 50. Yeah, a little bit. And 70 for 90. Not worth it, in my opinion, if these are the same deals we get. And then this is round two. Round two. What do we get? Woo, soul potions. Woo, an elite selector card. 60 limited for, and a gene hybrid for $100. And and then 100 red roots for $100 now. Keep in mind, again, ladies and gentlemen, these rewards were from last year. Maybe, maybe, and quite possibly, quite likely, we might get um, new packs this year that are of actual good value for you to buy. Uh, but as it stands, all of those packs, in my opinion, are trash, and I would not buy them. But I remain optimistic that the devs will give us um, cheap packs, right? Because this is supposed to be a Black Friday deal. Things are supposed to be really cheap. And I'm thinking like 50% off when I think of cheap, not 10% off. So those are what we're getting. Wait and see what is actually in the store when it goes live tomorrow. Okay. One day durations. You will have one day to make up your mind whether or not you want to buy something. A new limited recruitment event will open on most servers. This is for Claire, a.k.a. Rita Vertaski, Titan Hand, Sorietta, and Rakana. Okay. Yes, I will definitely be pulling on this because she does look good. Her kit looks good. And like I said earlier, I will have my full Claire Vertaski <laughs> deep dive tomorrow. If you guys are wondering why I keep saying in those other names, if you know, you know. If you don't know... Well, come into my Discord and ask me why. Tw 14 days, two-week banner, right? This is the main cycle banner that we're getting uh, starting tomorrow. And then the complimentary banner, which someone did mention this in my Discord like four days ago. So I did update my spreadsheet. So I knew it was Jaina. And I updated my spreadsheet the day that I found out. Uh, never really reported it to you guys. Um, but cool, Jaina's coming. So this is the seven-week complimentary banner. Um... I only have her at like Immortal 3, so I'm going to go 59, 1, 59, wait, 59, 1, and then 121 to get the 180 on the mirror so I can pick up another copy of Jaina. So that is the seven-day complimentary banner. Um, if that made no sense to you, that math, that, that is how you ensure you get a copy of Jaina for one ticket. And then you maximize the chances to get uh, more uh, Claire's 
with the other 120 or 180 tickets. Uh, a new event, Mirror of Reformation. It's not a new event. This is the same event that is live for the first week of every new hero banner. Um, during this event, you will receive the corresponding rewards by recruiting, uh, basically by pulling a certain an amount of limited tickets. Uh, and you have to do this on Claire's banner. The main rewards are Claire Titan Hand copy, which you have to get at 180. So if you're not pulling 180 limited tickets, you're not getting a copy of her. The Universal Crystal is at like 360, so you are not getting a Universal Crystal. No, unless you're a whale or a kraken, you're not You're not getting a Universal Crystal. Uh, soul Potions, yes, those are fairly easy. And then you get, uh, uh, I think, 40 Astral Recruitment cards uh, at certain breakpoints in the pulling. Uh, I don't know if it's like 1... If it's like 80 and 120, I, I can't remember where, but it could even be 20, only 20. So I think you get soul potions, you get a copy of Claire, and you get astral recruitment cards on your way to 180. But if you want the big bad daddies, you're going to have to pull a lot more. So that's a seven day, right? That's only the first week of a new banner. Uh, details gathering, this is the, the bi-weekly event that we get every, you know, it's, it's quantum mimic or details gathering. Uh, basically... This is where the what are the main rewards? So the main rewards is Nagrama, Rusted Gears, Diamonds, and Mythic Runes. Now, if in order to get the Mythic Runes, I usually explain this every time I do one of these uh, patch notes reviews, but you have to spend 99 cents on one of the basic special packs in order to ensure you get the 30 red runes at at the end of the seven days, and for seven dollars, that is still a, a insanely good price if you want to spend money to get mythic runes the nagrama don't really care diamonds i don't really care and then you get the rusted gears uh you get what is it i don't know how many extra rusted gears you get each day for uh spending 99 cents i think it is one i think it's one extra rusted gear each day but you do get two more down the line on like the sixth day so you get a total of seven, uh, 10 extra spins on the wheel by spending 99 cents every day. So Gamuzo's Bell is what you spend said Rusted Gears on. But uh, this one's been kind of crappy lately. It usually always has the two heroes that are up for pull. And then a associated uh, Mythic Divine Prototype. Now, yes, Claire is on here. Jaina is on here. But we're getting notes of the Cosmos Lord. That is a good one. So, this is the first time. So, the only way you could have gotten Notes of the Cosmos Lord prior to this event was if you spent $100 to purchase it. So, this is the first time it has come up as an RNG pull. If you want to ensure you get everything on this wheel, it's roughly $300. You have to buy the Rusted Gears. Yeah, 300 bucks if you want to ensure. Otherwise... RNG baby. Uh, uh, I have mine maxed, so that's not going to help me. I would appreciate a Claire copy or a Jaina copy, so I do want to pull on this. And I do believe the Rusted Gears do carry over, because I have carried over some in the past. And that's a seven-day event. Project Premium Development, I'm going to say it again, no one cares. No one cares, except for Krakens, and somehow I seem to think in my heart of hearts that even the Krakens aren't pulling on this anymore either because it's, just, it's basically if you want to get whatever's in this event you have to spend hard cash cash just cash just cash so yeah a new elite chapter is opening this is cool I haven't seen one of these for a while uh, this is a 14 day event this is a long event uh, this is basically log in every day do your five battles right five battles and you can get pretty much everything in the store uh there's two copies of the sss available these meteorites do carry over so if you're carrying over some from the last elite chapter maybe you can get two copies of wamagon because wamagon is the main reward very very good i don't have wamagon max yet i will gladly take one or two copies depending on how many meteors i'm carrying i've carried over uh, i will definitely take one or two copies of wamagon so that's cool 14 day duration and then, this is what the source got wrong. We are getting an endless battle. Thank God. Thank Rita. Um, because endless battle, you know, you get a gene hybrid. You get, like, what, 
48 to 60 limited tickets. You get a uh, basically a red or a prototype upgrade material, a full one pretty much. You get lots of good stuff out of this. Soul potions, diamonds, Katojian Triangle tickets, everything. You get everything out of this. This event gives you a lot, a ton of rewards over the course of 14 days. And if they would have delayed it or canceled it, yeah, I'm thinking people would have been angry. Okay, so I'm glad to see that coming back. If you guys did not see what we're getting for um, the battles, and I don't, oh, wrong one. I don't think this endless battle is the same as the anniversary endless battle which is unfortunate which uh if you remember the anniversary one we basically every two days we got a whole new set of bosses whereas this one feels just like the old school ones where it's the same three bosses every day it is assassins which it's always going to be assassins because they want you to buy the sp hero and now it's Hunters, which going forward, I think we're always going to get a Hunter one because obviously they want you to buy the SP hero. And then Signal Interference, well, they're not fooling anybody because this is a Vanguard coming out this week. This this is a Vanguard. This is going to be a Vanguard battle. So Vangs, Hunters, Assassins is what you're going to get with the Endless Battles. I'm calling right now. Calling it. You heard it here. You heard it here third, folks. And then what else? What else? Okay, so game content adjustments and optimizations. Optimize the battle system. So again, they're reducing the uh, animation time of some heroes' ultimates. Um, Artis, Oisa, Karma, and Luke, and Skur and Hattie. That's really only relevant to uh, newer accounts because um, none of these heroes are getting used at mid-game or end-game. Karma, I would argue, isn't getting used at all. And Skur and Hattie is uh, going to be difficult for people to go for since we're never going to get a banner for Skur and Hattie. And she's kind of useless at this point. So really, Artis and Oisa and maybe Luke are the only ones that are relevant here. Optimize the logic of resurrection and HP recovery. So the HP restored during resurrection will not be affected by the reduction of healing and will not have special floating effects. So these changes involve heroes like Rosaris, Arcadia, Caraxi, and Samael. Any hero that can be revived. I guess there was some um, some odd interactions with, um, say, if you were going up against people that would reduce your max HP or reduce healing, they would be revived without getting the um, HP that they should have gotten on revival. So that's just a little bug fix. That's good. Uh, I would call that a bug fix and not a game content adjustment, in my opinion. Optimize the hero system. So optimize the text and changed all energy skills to ultimate skills. Well, this is good because people are still getting this mixed up. So if we pull up, um, like say, let's pull up Ares. Where is Ares? My Ares sucks on this account. So he's probably all the way down at the bottom. Where is mine? Let's go Vanguard. There he is. Okay. So they, back in the day, um, Energy skills referred to specifically um, ultimate skills because these are the ultimate skills and you see it used to be balanced that used, used energy. And, but now with the introduction of raged heroes, rage heroes, they haven't changed the verbiage. So if we look at this, right, does it say it on here? Yeah, see so look at exclusive effect. Energy skill enhancement, right? Gains one shadow, charges, blah, blah, blah. Uh, each time the energy skill is cast. He doesn't have energy. He, he has rage. So what they're doing is in the kits where it says energy skill, they're just going to remove that and say ultimate skill enhancement, right? Because they want it to make sense because a lot of people, I even heard today um, in my own guild cluster, um, let's see the gear. Someone, ooh, that's the wrong gear. Do I have the right gear on this guy? No, I don't. Okay. Man, really? You're going to make me go find some charged gear? They are. I think they are. Okay. Equipment. Oh, boy. Where would charge be? Charge would be right here. Okay. Someone someone in my own guild told me that char or charge gear did not work on uh, uh, vanguards because of this caveat. The immortal effect. Before casting an energy skill with a charge effect permanently, blah, blah, blah. 
So they tried to say that, yes, the immortal effects won't work because this is only uh, associated with energy ultimates and not rage ultimates, which is incorrect. This is just a translation issue, which they are now fixing, right? So, so this is still ambiguous, so it's good that they're finally fixing it. And that, and that is why, because people are still confused. People are still confused, but uh, tune in here, folks. You'll get good data. Optimize the instant system. Okay, when consuming tickets to challenge an instance, be that Stamina, uh, Crimson Abyss, or Katosian Triangle, the previous drag bar is retained to select the number of tickets to be consumed, and the function of clicking to select the number of tickets to be consumed is added. So if you always use a certain amount of tickets every day, it's going to remember that, and the slider is going to stay where you had it. Okay, so that is just a little quality of life thing. Uh, and what that is probably, the reason why is probably with the addition of them having the slider go up to 20. I bet you there was some people that uh, just used to just slide it all the way over for 10. And they just used all their tickets. Uh, not knowing that. And probably complained to the devs. And the devs decide to fix it. You see how that works? If people complain, they fix things. So we just got to complain more. I'm, I'm kidding. But not kidding. And now we get the bug fixes. So, something with Inherit Building, don't care. Uh, something about the fourth team in Hell Arena, don't care. The, what this was, was fix the issue that information of the fourth team set could not be seen after Hell Arena. The, that was causing a little bit of issues with actually going into battles. Whatever, they fixed it. Fixed uh, the issue of the special effect on the bottom of the feet that was not hidden in time when the ultimate skill was released during battle. Uh, it, funny enough, this just proves, um, this is for Redius, if he's watching, this proves that they have a foot fetish. And then fixed an issue with Rakana, which I don't really care. Apparently, Cariolus could block Rakana, whereas he shouldn't because Rakana does a teleport and not a charge. And that's it. That's it. That's all. That's it. That's all, folks. Okay. So that is the patch notes for the update that is going live in 8 hours and 44 minutes at the time of this recording. Um, I hope I covered it sufficiently. Uh, the word of the day is Polaroid. Polaroid. Because I always just pick something off my desk. And this is an old picture. So Polaroid is the word of the day. Put it down in the comment section below. Well, that will let me know that you made it to the end of my video. Which is 22 minutes long. Because I like to ramble. Put Polaroid in the comments. I will. Let, it will let me know you made it to the very end. And I will give you a heart on your comment and respond as always. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Catch you in the next one. I will see you tomorrow for the uh, Claire Rita Vertasky <laughs> deep dive uh, where we'll discuss everything from best gear to should you pull, is she good, is she OP. People have said she's OP. I'm kind of hoping she is. I want my vanguards to kick uh, Artemis butt. So we'll see you tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen. Till then. Cheers, peace, bye-bye. Someone find me a hairdresser.